Yo guys, welcome back to the West Ham United career mode for potentially the final episode. <laughs> yeah, it saddens me to say that this could be the final episode that we have of this series. We've got some very big, oh, not particularly big games, but like, well, around 16 is a fairly big game. And I'm scared about simming this because of how the South Africa game went. But at the same time, if it saves me a bit of time, then I'll do that. And yeah, Kane, Mount and Madison all getting goals. Great. So we're through to the quarterfinals. <laughs> I had to think of the name for a second then. Quarterfinals of the World Cup. It's it's going to be a good one. I think we've got enough in the tank to try and win this game. We'll try and win this tournament. If my career mode's frozen, I'm going to cry. If my career mode has frozen, I'm going to cry. I'll update you when it's back. Well, we are back. It just wants to take its sweet time in doing that. Hey. 3 0 win will put us through to the quarterfinals. Oh no. We've got to play Germany. No. I don't want to have to play Germany. Oh no. Okay. We're just going to have to man up and take it. This is what I don't like, is when you have to play the hard teams. This is the team we're going to go out with to play the Germans. This is the Germans. Oh, this is annoying. I don't like how this set me up. England, Germany is always a good one. And, you know, we've lost these, we've lost this team many times in the past. Not today, though. Not in this career mode. We're going to win. We're going to absolutely obliterate the Germans. We're going to do just what we need to do. Oh, this is going to be a difficult one. It is a great fixture with a wonderful history. Come on. The usual hype has been building all week. You guys ready? It's not even the final. The still got three games the before the final. We still have to get to the final. But it's this is where dreams are shattered. Quarterfinals at the World Stad at the World Stadium. But I'll see you in the highlights for this big game against Germany. Our first highlight from this game comes from Jaden Sancho just driving into the box, cutting in onto his right right foot and bending one in off the post, and giving us a one 0 lead here in the set in the quarterfinals. A brilliant, brilliant goal from Sancho. He, was, he had a poor game the last time. Like when I when I was using him, he was pretty poor. So that was a good finish. But again, it wouldn't be FIFA if the game couldn't just allow them to have a goal like this. I don't understand the point of not being able to win the ball in situations like that. And then why Chilwell decided that he needs to move so centrally instead of marking the guy on the left. Really, really poor half, man. Just little things just refuse to go in my way. It just stops you from having the one thing that you actually need. Like, being able to take the ball would be a nice thing to have. Like, also being able to fucking create a chance would be nice. Like, for fuck's sake. I had one shot. I, I just don't know what to do. Because it just keeps taking the ball from me. The literal second I pick it up with a striker. It's just really, really tedious to play. <sighs> Hopefully the second half's better. And then the, seven, and the 75th minute of Gould got played down to Wolf. 
but just levers it into the near post because that's the only way to get two goals that the AI score in this game are near post uh, rockets or back post headers that's it with this game there's no skill although it would be a saver in the making of Hudson Adoy to for slam home his second or third goal of the tournament and give England hope again. He does his best to miss it though, to be fair. He puts it straight at to Sagan, but he still manages to squeeze it in. And then right at the death, we had a chance here. Sané hitting a wonderful free kick and just about being saved by Jordan Pickford. Don't know why it needs the goal decision, the goal decision technology. But it was an unbelievable strike and just wasn't necessary because the free kick shouldn't have been a free kick in the first place. But a good save from Pickford to keep us in this game. The game has just decided to stop me when I'm clean for a goal with Kane. Okay then, blow for full time when it's literally the last fucking chance of the game. Sick one, EA. Yeah. Literally about to... I played the ball through to Kane and the game has just blown up for full time. Fucking how? I shouldn't have gone 2 1 down. Shouldn't have got to that stage where it goes to 2 1. And they get two fucking stupid fucking chances in the last couple of minutes because the game thinks that's fun. Fucking Christ, this game is appalling. And then right at half time, just t six minutes into the half, with a little bit into the half, Hudson Adoy with a brilliant little outside the foot finish to give us the lead. A saviour in the making, like I said. Came on for Sterling and just tore these Germans to shreds. I think it took a little bit of a nick off the right back but we're 3-2 up. This game has some serious problems with passing at the minute. I, it, I cannot pass water in the back. Every pass I make is suicidal. Like every single time it's just giving the ball away. At least Hudson Adoy can actually finish. So yeah, another shot that's not registered as, a, as an on-target effort. Christ. <laughs> oh well. We've, we're playing well. We should win this game. And hopefully we win this game. And then in literally the last five minutes of this game, a ball got played in and a great save there from Pickford once again. Probably made that one look a little bit harder than it needed to be. But a great save kept us, kept our lead, kept us from going to penalties. I probably did need tipping over to be fair. Fucking Christ, I love that was ridiculously hard today. It I just can't be bothered. Like, the way this game runs and makes things just ten times harder than they need to be. Like, a simple forward pass, man, just shouldn't be as hard as it, the game's making it. Another one is just. Defending is just too fucking stupid. The AI win the ball every single time you go forwards. Every time you go forwards. And then you try and tackle them or use a bit of strength to take them and the game just doesn't allow it. Just just doesn't need to happen. We've beaten Germany though, that's the main thing. Like, it shouldn't have been as hard as it was to do, but we've done it and we're into the semi. We're semi finalists again, so that's something. Who are we playing in the semis, though? We've got an injury, of course we do. I'm a test elect. Ah, oh, that's not too much. Wow, we got him on a free, and we can sell him for 85 million. Brilliant. Um, let's have a look at our scouting updates. Uh, this will more than likely be the last scouting update that we do in this career mode. Um, you never know. We can still lose in the semi-finals, and we might have to go through an entire season again. I don't fancy doing like another season just to just to win England the trophy. Um <laughs> this will be the last one we do. Last little check of these scouts. They've really gone to shit. Not gonna lie. Yeah, they, they really aren't the greatest of scouts at the minute. Okay. We still have to... Oh, we're playing France, of course we are. Oh, great. France in the semi-finals. To be fair, I don't know who I'd have rather had in this semi-final. 
I think Italy may have gone through. Yeah, I don't know who I'd rather have, Italy or... Oh, that's really annoying. Italy, France or the Netherlands? Probably the Netherlands. But, oh well. Another semi-final. I'll tell you what. Can't be having two goalkeepers on the pitch. I don't know what that's about. Get us Winks in. We should be fine. We'll play Hudson Adoy as a start off for Sterling this time. I think that should work a little bit better. But the semi finals of the World Cup against France. Is it going to be another horror show for in the semi finals for England? Or are we going to make it? Forget about the part. Forget about f 2018 World Cup. It's nothing. This is the 2022 World Cup, where England are gonna win everything. Semi-final time, boys. Well, the competition really and it are. Oh, it's Mbappe. I forgot. We should get revenge. In fact, yeah, that's true. This is a revenge match we'll when they beat final. us in Euro 2020 we'll find final. That man scored a header in that game. Hopefully he can win us the game today. Here we are. In the biggest match that we've played with well, England. We we're back at Wolf Stadion. Hopefully this time we're coming back. Hopefully this time we're back with another win. And yeah. We should be able to win this game. Let's let's just treat it like a normal game. Huh? Big game against well, in the World Cup semi-finals, and yeah, let's go. See you in the highlights for this one. Our first highlight in this game is a penalty. We got a penalty where I think Jane, oh, you, oh, I don't know who got brought down, but somebody got brought down um, by Hernandez. We got a penalty early on, and Harry Kane stepped up and he delivered when the time needed it, and he got a goal from it. We got a little bit of fortune as the ball fell back to James Madison, and he. Played it to Harry Kane, who absolutely rifled one in. A little bit of fortune off of the deflection off of Varane. But Kane picked it up. He was like, you know what, we'll take the shot on. And I think Lafont just gets the faintest of touches on this to take it into that top. Just put it onto the bar. We, now have another, we then had another chance as uh, James Madison laid it off to Harry Kane. Offer a good one too. And a great strike there. And it's a really, really good save by Alban Lafont. Look at how well he strikes the ball here. He knows this going in. It's a great save by Lafont to keep them in the game. Other than that little blip right at the end of that half, it's been a fairly solid, day, a fairly solid game. Thoroughly deserved to be in the lead. They've had their chances, don't get me wrong. And again, other than that blip where they hit the post, but just then, it's been fine. Like the first 10 minutes, we we got those two goals, and yeah, we've been where we need to be. So yeah, it's been it's been good. Hopefully, we should keep this up in the second half and hopefully we should come away with a place in the final. Wouldn't put it past the A to making it extraordinarily difficult in the second half for me, but we'll go with it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes in the second half. First highlight of the second half here is another good chance for us as the ball just dip, pinballs around and falls to Hudson Adoy who takes the shot on. A hero of our quarterfinal, not quite being able to score in the semi-final here, but a great effort nonetheless. And just a little bit, a little bit to the left, and it would have been in. We would get the next chance in this game as well as Harry Kane picked up, took it round, and then just bam, he absolutely smashes it. I forget how good he is at finishing on this game. He just takes that first touch to set himself on the right foot, takes a couple more to get it round and titty, and absolutely smashes it into the top corner. We had a little bit of a a fuffle here as the ball was given away and a great chance for France to get themselves back into the game uh, as De Bois heads it just wide of the post there Chilwell again not being able to defend it and then right at 15 minutes to go here Mbappe does really well and he squeezes it through to Feke who just about manages to finish it and give France a goal back in this game it's a really poor goal to concede because it just Stone should be doing better and Pickford should be doing better it's just annoys me that we conceded another late goal. Well, 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 lads. We've made it. We we're convincing for a win against France. Woo. Harry Kane smashing in a hat-trick in this game to take us to the World Cup final. It's just what you want to see. 
captain fantastic delivering in the big games still one more though a hat trick for Harry Kane though, that is that is fantastic to be fair considering two of his shots came off of the woodwork that's uh, that's fairly good for him yeah great game um, James Madison got three assists so that's the it's the dream team is what's playing there in a minute um, yeah I think we've done fairly well yeah, um, yeah, we'll, t <laughs> we'll take that into the final. I can't believe we're going to play in an upper major final of England. But yeah, we'll get into Well, we've done it. We've made it to the final. And we've got Italy in the final of this game. Transfer from, from Strakosha. Okay. Leon Goretzka is back from his injury. He's missed the whole World Cup. But never mind. We've got a final to play here. Ooh. Italy. It's going to be a good final, I think. I think we've got a better pay, a better squad on. I was going to say a better paper on squad. But, yeah, a, a better team on paper than Italy. Um, and the way Harry Kane banged the hat trick in the semi final, I think he's going to do very, very well here. He's the second top scorer. If he gets two, he should he could take the uh, the top scorer crown. He's joint top assists with Madison and Sterling. But, um, yeah, July 17th, it's a game to be, it's the game of all games for us. Whew. Don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if I'm ready to play a World Cup final with England. This is, this is what it's come down to, though. Oh uh, well, here it is, the World Cup final, our third final with England, the last game we'll play in this career mode series. Hello, it's it's come down to this, the Stadion Olympic the is host to England's first World Cup final since 1966. We've played three finals on the bounce. Can we win the most important of them all? We're going to be world champions. Are we, we going to fall short? We should be winning this. And hopefully we will come out with this. And I'll see you in the highlights for this massive game against Italy. Our first highlight in this game comes in the 41st minute. And it's Deli Alley taking a good long shot. Um, why don't you say a good long shot? It was close. It wasn't the worst effort in the world. It was a great little chance. Doesn't take a nick off of anything, but Donnarumma stands there and watches it fly past. So that goes in. It looks a bit of a mug there. And then again, right on half time, we get another great chance here as Hudson Adoy feeds through Madison beautifully. And this, the Leicester man is just unable to score. Great save by Donnarumma. Oh, well, it's been a nervy half, but we've been on top. Probably should be ahead, to be fair, but. Oh well, we'll take it, how it however it comes. We've been massively on top of this, on, on top of Italy. So if we can manage to take it, to keep ourselves in that sort of level, then we'll be we'll be up and running for the second half. Hopefully, the second half we can make it and we can put it in. We can finally get the goal that we deserve. Early on in the second half, though, we did get a chance, and Sancho putting a lovely ball into Harry Kane, who heads home. He's sick of the tournament. And can he have scored a more important time in a more important place? A brilliant ball in from Sancho. And he just beats Romagnoli to the ball. And it just loops in. Don Roman could do nothing about that one. And we get another chance just a few minutes later as Sancho drives into the box. And finds Harry Kane who finds a second goal in this game. And it's 2-0 in the final. <sighs> a brilliant run. Just takes it to the line. Feeds it across into the space and Harry Kane with a very difficult goal to score, but he's managed it. Could we get another one straight after as Sancho gets another get a chance, plays it through to Madison, who takes a wild effort at it. And we could have had three in the space of six minutes here. Sancho could have had all three of the assists. Madison just unable to finish that very very well. We get another chance here from the corner as, as Madison whips it in and Harry Kane just heads it slightly further slightly wider than he would have wanted to but it's a great chance nonetheless 
Still 2-0. One last chance here in the last few minutes of this game. As Madison plays it through to Kane brilliantly, but Kane gets denied absolutely stupendously by uh, West Ham's number one, Donnarumma. Yeah, it was a great save in the end. I had to deny Kane a hat-trick. We've done it. 2-0 win in the final against Italy. And England have won the World Cup after 50... After nearly, after nearly 60 years, we've won the World Cup. In what, what's it been since that? 56 years, 54 years, something like that. Since we won the last, since we last won the World Cup, another star is being added to that chirp. Harry Kane's double, his quick success, his quick double, is going to allow him to lift the biggest prize in world football. There it is, the World Cup. Jaden Sancho played absolutely incredibly in that game. Every, not one player had a bad match in that. And it's finally here. What a way to round off this series by winning the World Cup as well. It just, it just looks right, England winning the World Cup, you know? I'm calling it 2022. We're going to win the World Cup. Oh, what a day. Italy were shocking in that game, by the way. They just, they just didn't turn up. He's holding that very weirdly, but at least he's holding the World Cup. Getting flashbacks to that, that picture. That fla flashbacks to the videos of England winning the World Cup in 66. Well, it's certainly been a, a series to remember. 49 episodes. There's a shame I couldn't round it off and get a 50th. Maybe a 50th episode will be my player of the series and my goal of the series and everything like that. But for now, let's just celebrate the fact that that is on our screens. England world champions. The greatest of nights in English football. Ah, what a day. Look at that. They only had two shots in the entire game. They had two shots. That is unbelievable. Yeah, not a single player had a bad game. Only, like literally, the only players that didn't have to do anything were, were the defenders. Yeah, two goals from Kane, two assists from Sancho. World champions. Feels right, and it's it's very it's great that we've done it. But yeah, we'll see you back in the menus to end off the series properly. Oh, look at that. It looks good. With Kane in the World Cup. Where is it? Where is it? World Cup winners. England. That just looks right. <laughs> oh, it just looks right. We we had a great a great time. I just looked and France beat the Netherlands 4-1 in the third in the third place playoff. So yeah. That is uh is how we is how we do it. But um yeah, it feels weird because we're just the series has come to an end, and in a way, it's it's um it's it's sad because you know we haven't we haven't done. We oh, why is it not giving Kane the the top scorer thing? That's really frustrating. Oh well. We'll take it though. Um, and we, we 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 did what we needed to. We we won the World Cup, which is exactly what we went out to do. Um, but yeah, we it's, it feels weird because we're saying goodbye to the series. I will do an episode where it's goal of the series and everything like that. Um, I can't really show you them, but <laughs> uh, maybe I won't. Maybe I just maybe I, I can, but I'll have to like just say what. Who I think my player of the series was and who I think my goal of the series should go do. But um yeah. We'll keep it like that. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. Um I hope you have enjoyed. It's been a fun series to make. We'll be back in FIFA twenty with another West Ham career mode. Um yeah. If you have enjoyed, press the like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and also turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video of mine. 